Hello and a warm welcome to The Charge, ZapMap's regular look at EV charging data and insights. Pretty excited for this episode. It's, it's actually my favourite one of the year because this is we're going to be looking at the best EV charging networks. But before we delve into that, we want to have a look at our regular EV charging growth stats. Yeah, so at the end of October, there are over 86,000 devices on ZapMap, and that's a 22% year-on-year growth. Um, that equates to thousands of new devices uh, being installed every quarter, but undoubtedly that 22% year-on-year growth is lower than we saw last year. Yeah, I mean, last year it was 2024 was an actual bumper year for infrastructures going in across all the different areas. Um, yeah, I think although that top line number, you know, it's good to track that. It does hide a whole load of different market dynamics. You've got the en route charges, which have had good growth, which we'll talk about, which is really about the private investors, private CPOs really rolling out as quickly as they can, maybe a bit of grid constraints, but that's going well got that big category of destination charges which covers you know a multitude of different different types from hotels to leisure center you know and that's kind of a lot of individual decisions are being made then vitally important is the on on street or the near home charging which we know really is all about local charging local local government and you know that's constrained by this whole tender process for for levi you know and also the scottish infrastructure fund uh, uh, as well and then lest we forget the home chargers yeah, of course. Yeah, over a million home chargers, and I think we're estimating about one point two million now. Because I think so. you know, of all the four hundred thousand new EV drivers, mo- about eighty percent of them will have a home charger. So that's probably quite a yeah. conservative estimate, I think. So lots of different dynamics in the market, but I think one one area which we constantly talk about is the success story of those really high powered chargers. Yeah, and they've grown at over fifty percent. Um, right. So, you know, those you can see um, having the highest growth rate and they're often in those hubs and on the motorway services and strategic road network. So they're very, very visible. Yeah. Um, and that's definitely the area that's shown the highest amount of growth this year. So, yeah, still really positive. That's good. Well, I mean, moving on from the numbers, September and October is, is also the time where ZapMap does the EV survey, looking at driver behaviour. Um, I mean, one, one, we, we, I know that we're going to be giving out the results of that. Well, you know, when's that coming? Yeah, so the key findings from that survey will be out in the next week. Um, and then the full survey will be able to be purchased as well off the back of that. Brilliant. And, and one thing that I, you know, when the initial results came out, I was really keen to see how that overall satisfaction with EV charging has moved on. Yeah, which it undoubtedly has as well. So 64% satisfaction last year, and that's up to 69% this year um, in terms of how satisfied drivers are with the public network. Yeah, and you know, it's, it's a critical area, isn't it? And that links in well to this, you know, the main topic of, of this, the charge, which is around the, the best EV networks, because obviously they are the ones who are delivering the service. So should, should we get, get going on that? Yeah, let's get going on that. <laughs> So this year for the best EV charging networks, we've looked at the rapid and ultra rapid category and split that into two with the medium and the large size networks. Yeah, makes sense. Um, And we haven't forgotten on street and destination. We'll talk about that at the end. Yeah. But in addition to those two categories, we've got the best up and coming network, rapid, ultra rapid. And as the name suggests, this is this is for a new network which has moved into the market and, and started a rollout. Insert drum roll, please. Are you oh. going to tell us who it is, Matt? Yes, yeah, sorry. Yep, yeah, that's the key bit, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So the, the best up-and-coming EV charging network is Arnold Clark. Yeah, and with Arnold Clark, they've rolled out across their dealerships. Um, and the really interesting thing they've got is that they've actually started to introduce booking as well. So it will be interesting to see how that plays out. Um, but they've certainly made an impact with their initial launch. In the best EV charging network, rapid ultra rapid in the medium section, so that is under 500 chargers, we've got nine different networks. So in third place in the medium rapid and ultra rapid network category this year, we've got Fastnet. Hmm. Um, A smaller network overall, they've performed really consistently over the last few years in these rankings um, and they're spread out across the whole of the UK. So they've got um, a focus on Northern Ireland, they seem to have had this year. 
they've got a partnership with Transport for London, and they've also got planning permission to open the first covered hub mm. um, up in Aberdeen. So yeah, doing really, really well for Asned. Love to see more of those yellow canopies over yeah, the course really of the year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and then moving in, in second place in, in this category is BEV. So moving from yellow to their big green hubs. And actually, they've done a great job. They, they sort of started off in their Manchester base and now they've moved out across the UK. They've done a great rollout of their Oasis hub in Manchester, yep. which, which you went to, yeah, wasn't it? Fab. And they seem to have done a lot, much more visibility. They've got their roving CEO. They've got some really great, great uh, graphics and, and marketing material. So it's great. And I, I think they score particularly well for customer service and, and ease of use. Yes. So that's, that's really good to see. In first place. Drum roll, please. <laughs> first place for the medium rapid and ultra rapid network goes to our winner last year of the up and coming award, ah. Sainsbury Smart Charge. So really great to see um, Smart Charge at Sainsbury Supermarkets go into first place this year. They've done a really good rollout over the last 12 months and they've linked their offering with Nectar as well. So it's good to see that loyalty starting to play in um, across the network. Yeah, and we know a, a, a charge and a supermarket shop very, very well aligned. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so, so rounding up the rounding up the medium category, best best network smart smart charge from Sainsbury's, then Zapmap EV driver recommended, BEV Fastned and EV on the move. So let's let's have a look at the larger networks. They need to have at least five hundred devices to to qualify for this category. This year we've got two networks tied in third place. Ionity and Osprey Charging. Ionity, who's really focused on that top, top end of the ultra rapid chargers. They've only got hubs which have got 300 kilowatts or more. They've had a really good year in the last year over doubling their number of chargers on, on the network. And they've also got a couple of good partnerships with extra motorway services and village hotels. And the, and the feedback from drivers that they really like the reliable, consistent service that they know they're going to get when they turn up at an Ionity hub. Osprey charging, I mean, that's been one of Zap, ZapMap drivers' uh, favourites over the years. I think they've always been in the ranking and they provide a consistent, really high-end high end service. This year, they've, they've continued to expand and I think significantly they've rolled out their second sort of high, high-profile hub near, near Glasgow uh, Airport you know, and, of course, a lot of other hubs too. And they really were well-rated for reliability and, and the customer service side. Yeah, fantastic with those two. And then in second place, we've got MFG EV Power. Um, we, they performed really well last year and we talk about them a lot in terms of the fuel forecourts and their provision there. But what we've seen this year is their partnership with Morrison's coming to fruition. And so actually seeing that rollout starting to happen across Morrison's supermarkets. And I think it's fantastic for that convenience and accessibility for EV drivers to see more of these supermarket partnerships providing really great, reliable service. Um, so yeah, fantastic news on MFG EV power. Brilliant, and the other good thing is they've got people on site, haven't yes. they? Yes. People on site. So getting to our winner. Big drum roll. A big drum roll. Huge Don't drum forget roll. the drum roll. <laughs> so the winner of the best EV charging network in the large category is Tesla Public Superchargers. So. This is maybe no surprise, and actually they were our winner last year. But they've, you know, they've made a lot of progress in the mm. last year. They had a milestone of 2,000, their 2,000th charger rolled out. And the most important thing for the rest of the EV drivers is that over half of them are now open to all models. I mean, I'd like to see more of that, yeah. but that is really good. And people, drivers love the fact that the banks of the chargers, uh, they're, they're very reliable. They're in great locations. Yes, yeah, motorway and, services. Yeah, yeah. You're able to start accessing those. And, and then I think the, the, the key thing is that actually their cost is really, really competitive between 55 and 65 yeah. pence per kilowatt hour. I mean, that is great when you compare that, that to the average. Yeah. So well, well done, Tesla, for a second year running. So to round up the large network category for the best EV charging network, goes to Tesla Public Superchargers. For the EV driver recommended networks, we have MFG EV Power, Ionity, Osprey Charging, Instavolt and GridServe.
Yeah, they they all all get that badge. All get that EV driver recommended badge. And if you want to see the the full the full listing of all the rankings, both in the medium and the large, we we've got that on the website. Yeah. Yeah. So we've been talking a lot about the um, high powered on street sort of on the go networks, but yeah, as we've said, there's a lot more to charging than that. Um, and there are some great networks out there who are delivering fantastic on street charging you know, and fantastic destination solutions right across the UK. Yeah, and it's traditionally been a little bit more difficult to get enough results out of the survey for yeah. those because they're very geographically spread. Um, however, we have been able to do that this year, and so we will be releasing a joint on-street and destination set of rankings in the coming weeks, so keep an eye on the website for that. So that's the end of the charge for this time. Um, as ever, if you have any needs for data and insights on EV charging, please do get in touch insights at zapmap.com and see you next time.